behavior. Hello guys, welcome to Boxing Block Center, the home of Nigerian Africa Boxing. Please, if you're new to the channel, make sure you click the like, of course, the subscribe right now. And also go to the notification bell icon, click it and select all okay, so the rubbish bank a new exclusive you will definitely be notified. Let's just get straight right here with that station. So official the and the Joshua vs the anti water fight is now officially dead for January in Saudi Arabia as the proposed side deal has completely fallen through. At the end of course confirmed this insisted they are still trying to salvage the fight for February March with a new side deal in different location. Um you guys should also keep in mind that um there is a new head of sports in Saudi Arabia. There's a guy at his I think his name is Two Kick or something like that. Um the guy um pushing pushing uh, these deals sporting, sporting deals regardless to boxing and other sports as well um he is very influential Tukik the guy name is Tukik also very influential he's a new head of sports Arabia. so this guy right here we're seeing right now in the, on the picture uh, is no longer the, the head of sports in Arabia. This might be a reason. The reason why, because that guy is pushing, he's pushing a lot of deals right now. The Frazzagana versus Tasfiri one taking place October twenty eighth. Then we have the signed and sealed fight between Fury and and uh, Usyk. We'll get to that, but right now let's talk about this right here. What's going on right here, bruv? Oh, the Wally. Fight there in the water for Joshua Water. Does Joshua need to fight someone else before? Or what is going on? What's your take? Honestly, I lost a little bit of excitement about the fight. And I'm not saying that I'm not interested in Joshua Wilder. Wilder Joshua, if it happens. But it's been dragged for so long that it has, to me, anyways, it has lost a lot of its value. So, either ways, um, if they are not able to make that fight in Saudi Arabia, they should consider maybe staging a fight in the UK or somewhere in the US. You know, they can get this done, man. I don't know why they are waiting for Saudi Arabia. This is greed. This is 100% greed, as far as I'm concerned. And, and again, sorry about that. When I think about that fight, um, they are both going to get paid good money, regardless where that fight is held. Um, if they stage a pay-per-view event, I believe, me personally, I believe that fight easily does in the US, maybe 400,000. 500,000 buys while that Joshua in the US in the UK it probably does close to a million buys and they can make good money it's not going to be like Saudi Arabia money it's not going to be 60 million dollars each but at least they'll make good money and they would have some extra money for the undercard but it is what it is man the heavyweight division has been lacking in the last few months we've not had any major fights Going to the Fury Usyk fight, I'm not even excited about that one at all. To be honest with you, I really don't care about Fury and Usyk fighting. If they fight, I will watch the fight because I'm a boxing fan. But I'm not enthusiastic about it. I'm actually more interested in Wilder Joshua than Fury Usyk. And I really, really hope Francis Ungano pulls the upset. I hope that happens. Yeah, man, Francis Gunnar already came out to say, listen, you guys are underestimating to me. But like I said, we're going to get to that for sure. Um, Let's get up around here. Tire Jabu to give his take on this fight being dead. Uh, the Joshua um, Wilder uh, fight, proposed fight. What's going on here, Tire Jabu? Is it because that um, 
uh, is it because the Adriana Matra boxing don't really have a good contact with like I don't know he I think this new guy this new head of sport in Saudi Arabia is more close to Team Fury than he is to Adrian something is not uh, I'm not saying um, they don't want to make the fight but why the sudden change of plan is it that they are prioritizing the on this paper with fight of course you France is going to fight first or and after that they see what happens next or what I think on this bro Sajo. yeah um it's it's crazy that the sudden change of power move happened so quickly i i don't know what exactly what occurred you know but with saudi arabia and eddie Hearn, you know i don't think it i don't think anything bad happened i just don't know what happened between just saudi arabia in general maybe the maybe somebody else who's um Remember those uh those uh those one dude who was taking care of all the you know side venue side fees and everything, and another power play came in, and he decided to just take over completely, and um, he went with for some reason he went with Frank Warren. I, I don't know where that power move came from, you know, because remember Frank Warren was never had a never came even close to making deals with the Saudis, you know, I don't think he even had the pull for it. All of a sudden, like he, he was able to get a deal going. I'm just, I'm just still so amazed that that was able to, that was able to happen. You know, he was able to pull that off. I, I, I don't know how he did it, but he did it. You know, unfortunately on Eddie's side, he can't, he's unable to do it just because of the power move that occurred, you know, just in between. I believe if that, if that didn't occur, Eddie, AJ versus Water would have been would have been already made, but I I do believe the 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 boxing entity no a, a, a maybe a, the boxing program or or how do I not the boxing program somebody the person who promotes basically the boxing over there you know for some reason you know decided to work with um, Frank Warren you know and promote um, Ngannou versus. Uh, Fury, and then all of a sudden they were just, they decided to make Usyk versus Fury. You know that's the that's the whole issue. I right? we still need more explanation because we still haven't gotten enough explanation from that. But it may personally, um, it's unfortunate that it happened, and um, we won't be able to get to really see. I I hundred percent believe AJ versus Wilder does extremely well than Usyk versus Tyson Fury. You know, but it, it's it sucks that that's just the that's just the way it's going, and we won't get to see it. Uh, honestly, I I don't mind it. I would want each of these fighters. You know, maybe there's an opportunity for Wilder to to fight a Andy Ruiz and get a and get a knockout, and AJ to fight a Zhang or to fight somebody else to get a knockout. It'll make that fight much much more interesting. You know, I'm not mad at it because these guys are are two powerful fighters. And man, when they come to fight, you don't know what's gonna happen. And I would want them to get the best of the best, you know, get the money, you know, if it, if it's gonna be a fight like that, let them get the money, let them get the best pay, you know. I want that power play to be in their court, you know. I'm not mad at it, but at the same time, it does suck because I wanted to see, I want to see Wilder versus AJ. I think that's the fight to make. It's gonna be a fight of the century. Um, it's gonna be much more interesting. So that's that's how I feel about it. Yeah, man, you you're right with the sudden change of power moves and stuff like that. Anyways, um, I think one of those things that like, Fury is on top right now, so he can enjoy the privilege for now. Um, you know, uh, yeah. So, so guys, you ready for my brothers? Touch up weird now. Before, yeah? before you go, brother, I wanted to ask, what do you think about Shang? He needs to be put in a mix. The guy is a great, is a very, is very good for this particular era, and I think he gives everybody a you mean, problem. You mean Zhang Zhang Zhang, he's a, he's yeah. a, he's a forty-year-old guy. That's the that's only problem I have. This is old man. You know, that's the thing. I'm, how long will he continue to fight? Yeah, how long, that's... How, long how long can he sustain it? He's forty-year-old. I wish he, I wish he turned. Yeah, he, he also. 
he turned pro he turned pro a little bit late but that's not the problem he was under rock nation for a long time and he wasn't getting any any invisibility or anything like that like not a lot but fighting guys but not a lot so uh, if it was to be with my room or other well known uh, promoters it would have been different you know it's just sad man generally like that guy is the one of the is the, i think he's the best uh or um sharp of uh heavyweight fighter yeah right you know? now he's the, definitely the top I most mean, I, ranked I, I, I mean, how many sharp how many how many sharp of heavyweights are there very few very i few. can't even think of anyone maybe in old Wa- louis please auto auto walling auto walling Walin, Walin, Walin sometimes fight auto does though. Oh, I don't know, but I've never, he, I've never seen him fight auto does. And also, I know so he gave a uh, fury hell from a certain stance anyway. Imagine what uh, Jandeli would do. Honestly, you honestly, to be honest, you don't know these guys or how well they are, how good they are until they get in there and really mix it up. Remember, we thought Joe Joyce had it. I don't know what happened. That's true. And, um, you really don't I mean, know. Joe Joyce has it. He has it. He just met someone that listen. John Lee throws the way he throws is a lefty. Okay, you know sometimes when you meet some some stars, Joe Joyce has fought almost every style, but he's he's fought few sharpo guys. Fine, has he fought any sharpo before? Joe Joyce? No. He hasn't. Yeah, and he, I don't think he fought a lot in Amar. He, no, he, 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 he did fight his, his Southpaw. Everywhere Southpaw, every, every Southpaw guys are very... Everywhere Southpaw, Southpaw everywhere are very few in number. And if you meet a one, a one, the one with, with a power, power like that and with speed and also his 287 pound guy, basically every, if he lands, you feel it. Listen, John Jale, let's keep it real. He did beat Egovic, but he was robbed in that fight. Fact. Yeah. Yeah. Just, I had just... I had John Jale winning that fight too. So it's gonna be interesting and to see how this plays out. You know, water Joshua, you know, being dead on dead in the water right for now. I really wish John you know, now that we're waiting for now that we're waiting for Wilder Joshua, it's not happening. Like like Ty said, both guys need to go make another fight. You know, Zhang Zhile is a good replacement. I would love to see Wilder versus Zhang Zhile. That would be a, a, a trading of power punches. We'll see who lands first. And either guy can get knocked out. But I'm definitely favoring Wilder if that fight happens. Joshua versus Zhang, that's a good fight too. Um, anything can happen in that one. So yeah, I really wish these guys can mix it up. And I wish all these political financial barriers were not existing but you know that's what we are offered in in the heavyweight division in 2023 but good thing is other divisions are doing good you know we have every other vi- division at this moment popping we have a decent fight coming up this weekend charlo canelo it's decent um in the heavyweight division we have gassiev fighting against um Otto Wallin. That's coming up tomorrow too. So yeah, we have some good. It's still entertaining, but it's not the best year for the heavyweights. I think ever since Joshua lost that belt, I tell you right now, Joshua won a lot of belt. Like it's really Joshua. Like things have diminished. The division has been like a little bit lackluster in a way. But uh, hey, hey, come, it come, come back. Enough popularity or enough of that you know that stardom to, to, to have people get going crazy you know it's unfortunately the belt landed in Usyk's side you know he doesn't have that what that that thing everybody's looking for if it would have landed if it would have stayed with AJ I think that fight between Wilder and AJ would have definitely gotten made faster you know but unfortunately it's the way it is and with Tyson Fury too that's that 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 belt thing with him and Mauricio Suleiman the way he's acting I don't think he's behaving professionally I I'm, I'm I, I never thought of Mauricio Suleiman is the way he is but 
I think at this point, I've really lost respect for him and that belt, honestly. I'm just being straight up honest, you know. So. Yeah, bro. So, guys, stay with my swing back right I'll be right back. God bless you. Cheers. I'll be dancing for the left.